Alright guys, welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23. I figure we'll start this off with looking at what we got in the last one. Somehow we got a point. Um, continue with doing that. Uh, got a couple new things. I might try out the putter that we got. We need a hybrid. Uh, it's still a little bit too... So, the type of style putter I like is more of this. Um, but that is just a golf club. That's very... No. We're not going to be using that. Um... Oh, let's try it out. Why not? That brings a lot of stuff down. Power goes down, but everything else except for lie range go up. What do we have on? Oh, we have a green on there now. Yeah, it's better. And right now we don't have a shaft. Let's go with it. What else do we get with fitting up? I think it was this one. Oh, we only got new shoes? I didn't like those shoes. The Skechers one are very comfortable in real life. Um, I wish you could change the color. I like those shoes, to be honest. We got the Players' Championship at TBC Sawgrass. Um, nobody's catching Tiger, and I honestly don't think anyone's catching us either, so... Start it. Rival Colin Morikawa. Uh, we need to start doing practice shots or something. I, just, I don't understand how we can go from not missing a shot in the last tournament to, or the one we won, to not being able to hit a single one in, Sports in association with the, the PGA previous, Tour, like, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Players' Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Quag. Hello, Henny. Hi Luke, I'm very pleased to be covering this particular featured group because there's a fresh rivalry developing. I smell rivalry in the air. It's going to provide some great entertainment to both the spectators and us this week. So it looks like they're trying to beat Colin Morikawa this week. That's ambitious. Seems like a friendly duel from the outside, but could create some extra sparks today. <laughs> I almost just have to laugh. Someone saying they're going to beat Colin Morikawa. Does that even happen these days? He's one of the most consistent players on tour. I don't know that he's beatable. Well, he's been accused of having a balky putter occasionally, but you're right. 
iron players good as Tiger Woods in his prime. Uh, the short game's irresistible, but I think the most impressive thing about young Colin is his mindset. He's got a 40-year-old mind on a 20-year-old body. No wonder he's winning at a decent rate of knots. That's a pretty handy shot. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. Yes, they've made it. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He finds himself in a share of four. All right, birdie the first. The first of our birdie opportunities comes second, par five. Driver not necessarily required here because you have to shape your tee shot from right to left. And if you're a right-handed golfer, that's not the easiest thing to do. So lefties have a better opportunity, I think, of finding this fairway than most with driver. From there, a second shot over a long bunker to a green that's very narrow, dotted by pot bunkers. Truly is one of the coolest par fives on this layout. Awesome. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Trying to get out of this pine straw here. Getting ready to play their third. Quality shot, that one. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Nope. Ooh, right by the hole. Somehow. Somehow it went off the green. This was the bullshit I was doing. Shot. Oh my god. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Okay, let's head to the next. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Well, that'll affect the momentum. And that'll drop him down to even par now. That, uh, 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 par three, I don't even know what to say Straight anymore, man. Shot. That's the type Such of bowl cool that... Three. Love this green. There's a low section in the front and a high section in the back. And really turns me off of it. All the way in the back section of the screen. Well, I'd say what good luck on you if you miss this green long and or left that bunker sits some five feet below the surface of the green four feet to the cup and that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par gotta like it moving up the leaderboard never a bad thing well the fourth is another great example that it doesn't need to be a long par four to be a testing one this fourth can be menacing can't it just a small little twisty par four. It's going to take out a fairway wood, find the fairway, and from there you're going to have a small second shot, probably a wedge. Three distinct sections to this green, the front, the right, and the back left, and all of them have their difficulties when hitting your approach shot into them. However, in my mind's eye, if you find the fairway, Man. you should have a decent look. When you put a little bit of loft and spin well, on a pitch, for this part, Henny, you have to swing it in, so damn fast. The century. This is huge. Like, it makes no sense how fast it... Putting for whatever. a par whatever. here. Oh, see, that line was looking <laughs> I even good, pulled that one. Just a four-footer remaining. And that goes down for a bogey. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. No, why are you now left that pin in? enjoying a one-shot lead. <sighs> All right, Rich, the power four fifth. A strong hole this one, isn't it? Huge mounding down the left-hand side that you want to avoid at all costs. The bunker down the right-hand side, to be fair, is not that bad. But a little further right of that, though, that's the water. You want no part of it. Second shot is downhill to a green. To be fair, that's mostly flat. Runs from back left to front right, but one of the more benign greens on this layout. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, it rolled 10 foot by. Ouch, that hurts. Never mind, off the green. Uh, how frustrating. 
Yep. Maybe he can chip it back close and limit the damage. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And it's back-to-back -back bogeys here. Got to turn this momentum around. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Trailing by five shots after that hole. The tee shot at the par 4 6 has changed a lot now that that tree's been taken out of the way, Rich. But uh, what do you think of this short par 4? I missed the tree. I thought that was a really cool feature of this hole. You had to flight it underneath the tree back in the day to find the fairway. The bunker down the left-hand side has been expanded quite a bit as the lake on the left-hand side has been added as well. The front part of this green is protected by tall palm trees that will certainly make you think on your second shots. This is a wonderful little par four. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. If this putt drops, they'll pull in front of Colin Morikawa. Let's see if they can start applying some pressure. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. As we go from a wonderful little par four, we go to a challenging, longer par four, the seven. And as you can see, there's a long fairway bunker down the left-hand side that makes you believe there's more room left than you actually have. It's just not there. Players should be looking a little bit further right if you find the fairway, your second shot should be straightforward. In fact, Luke, I made a two here one time, so that shows you how simple this hole can be. And a par putt awaits him. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. I honestly don't know how that wedge shot was that now fast. Let's switch our focus. Sometimes you had like the first it's hole. I had to swing that wedge really fast event. in order to not well, get it slow. Some on the and then this board. one. Let's take a look. I didn't now, really swing fast, and it was w would have been red fast in the uh, the yeah, other game. A long par three stretching 240 yards at its maximum. It's no sleeper, that's for sure. I don't find anything sleepy about this hole. The front of this green is so narrow. There's no place to land it, especially when they put the flagstick there. This hole will grab your attention as it should because it's a long iron to a sliver of an opening even when they put the pin on the right hand side you want no part of it the center of the green all day long here so after that hole he's now up to even with the card the final hole on the opening nine at tpc sawgrass stadium course rich is a clever three shotter par five 583 yards from the back most players will play this as a three shotter just find the fairway out to the left Second shot out to the right, sets up a very simple third shot to a very narrow green. Miss it right or left, good luck getting it up and down. Okay, that was a pretty good partial Nicely pitch. Done. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's get back to it, shall we? And this part to move into the top 10. I like the look of this. Nice one. Yeah, and Fourth our rival was Brooke day. Henderson in and the last one. Take him to one under. We actually... He's currently in a share of six. I think we had the same score at the end, which was six over. As you make the turn here at TPC, but we still the Sawgrass, the 10th hole is a clever one. Pretty basic par four, just 424 yards from the back tee. Players take out a hybrid or a three wood, hit it out to the right hand side, which will leave a ah, short that's what I second done. shot. However, lots of undulations on this we green, still so won. make sure your second shot is the correct distance. So Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Nine. Yeah. That's a shame. Just leaking left, that one. That's a shame. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. <laughs> Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Trailing by a Awful couple second strikes shot. Now. Went to four feet. There's some birdie holes out on this course, and the 11th is certainly one of those, but uh, there are some troublesome spots if you get out of play. 
there definitely is trouble. I've done that before in real I'm life. There was a part three on my course. Is that there's so many or if you hit the, uh, the uh, most players will take driver. It's a hill on the, the 20 yards there, right of the green. Now it's anybody's ball if it's, game. if it's hard enough that day, it'll bounce. Shot, like it bounced all left, the way down and, and was six foot from the right. hole one time. You can lay it up long left. There's so many different ways of attacking this hole. Each individual is going to do it differently. I love the second shot on this hole. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And then the next time I played the hole, into a tie for second. I almost did the exact same thing. I hit it. Ah. Terrific shot. I hit it on that bank again, and it got on the green, but it was like 20 feet away this now time. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. I was like, man, maybe that's He's just the play. His rival. Let's see what happens here. How oh, you've made it! What a play! <laughs> so after that hole, how cl oh, this you've is made what the it! Looks like. He thought it was. He thought it was a one-shot lead. Well, the tee shot is all that matters on the short par four twelfth. Most players can reach the green. It's just the decision whether the player goes for it or not. What? They can, but they better be aware that there's a lot of Most danger. Most players there. can reach Water the green. Obviously, it's is no 370 good, yards. Out to the right, in those dunes, in the mounds, the little pot bunkers on top of those mounds. Well, forget about it. That's not a good space either, especially since the green does run pretty hard from right to left. If you want to take this hole on with driver and expecting to make three, well, you need to realize that a five and a six could be easily made as well. Just two shots back after that hole. Who's driving well, that green? Start to head for home here at TPC Sawgrass. You're blessed with this wonderful par 313. And this is a really cool par mm. 3. You've got three distinct areas on the green, front right, all the way on the left-hand side, and the back right. Wherever they put the pin is going to really? dictate what shot shape you want to have wrench. into that green. I think it's a Go really cool yourself, design man. because it requires you to think about how you want the golf ball to land on the green and the way you want it to bounce. I think Pete Dye did a great job in designing this green. Okay, let's get back to the action. Pitching wedge went an extra Time 20 yards shot here at the and then just did not stop. What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Nope. Roll off the green, please roll off the fucking there. green. Putting for a bogey. That gets the job done. Trailing by four strokes. There's a few birdie opportunities out of the gate here on the second nine at TPC Sawgrass, but it really starts to toughen up down the stretch, starting here with a difficult par 4 14. Difficult tee shot on this plank, some 481 yards from the tip. You find the fairway, and you've got a decent chance of finding the green with your second shot. But if you're out of position anywhere on this hole, your number will go up exponentially. Going for less club here. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Lining up the birdie putt here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. This one's for birdie. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Our current leader is up by three shots. The par 4 15th again requires another strong tee shot because there's some trees in the way, Rich. Players do hit through a shoot off this tee shot, which makes it a little bit simpler, I believe, for the players. Bunker down the right hand Don't side have to think is about, no like, good because you'll have trees blocking you out with your second shot. If you miss it left into the pine straw, and now you've got some trees blocking you out there, so finding the fairway is imperative. This green is no fun. You find the center of the green, and you might be able to putt every single day. But in all reality, you have to find the correct section in order to give yourself the best look at making a putt. Now fall back after that hole. As we head to the really 16th, a, see the famous par five reach the start of the birdie. gauntlet. 
Ideally, players want to take their tee shots from right to left, start off that fairway bunker and move it left back in the fairway. Anything down the left-hand side can get caught up in the I don't those understand trees the slow when it goes really further cause left. players issues with their layup. You find the fairway, now you have a massive decision to make. Go for it or bail out to the left thinking that's the safe play. It really is not. How you did that not come back down? brave and try and find this green with your second shot. If not, it could come up and bite you. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to four under. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. Oh, it looks so like... with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. It looked like he was aiming that, like, 40 feet left of the a hole. three-stroke advantage. All right, Rich, you've stood there, you've hit the shot. Take us through the par 317. When you play here in a practice round, it looks like you could just throw it on there. But when you're in a tournament <sighs> round, it doesn't even look like it exists. It, the hole changes so much when the tournament starts. That's what I love about it. You just add 35,000 people who are having some fun and ready to heckle you if you knock it in the water. Eh, good luck. Enjoy. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Yeah, show the tee shot here. He's trailing his right. rival. Let's see what happens yes. here. You see that one just drip back on the flag. Or not. And with that hole behind us, <laughs> let's have a look at the contenders. <laughs> And the pretenders. Imagine if golf was now, televised like is that. Up by three shots. Right, let's get in a solo let's second. Let's get this wonderful birdie. par four eighteenth. Wonderful only if you're a spectator. It's wonderful Never mind. if you're not playing it for a lot of cash. It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there hit it out to the right hand side of the green somehow also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right listen you'd be happy to make five here that's for sure no. fours are magnificent threes are unicorns they really don't happen that much it is such a difficult demanding finishing hole probably one of the toughest in championship golf no that's too bad it's downhill the entire way and yet unexplicably comes up short all right and back. as this round winds down, he finishes in second place. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. It's also funny. Uh, I've noticed every time I put fittings on, I always play worse. It's so weird. Like the fittings are supposed to help you. I know they've got some negatives, but most of the negatives I have, I think, are distance related. In association um, with the PGA Tour, that's what I try to put on there anyway. to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Please, you could join us for this second-round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Currently top five, lots of golf ah, left. This should be push. an exciting shootout, lots of golf to be played. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the car. Then the pole. Look the old hammer hands putt. Just three feet to go to the hole. Pushed Don't it. Don't miss this. Then they pulled it. He currently shares fourth position. Ben hung on. Time to tee off at Way the second. There. Drive it out to the right hand side to give yourself a good look at reaching this green in two. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. That's fine, buddy. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Opting for the hybrid, I think. All right, bold. I like this play. What a hybrid it was. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Oh, so close. 
I'm not sure how they're, you know, breaking yet because the last course, that little bit would have broke 10 foot. It was insane how much some of them were breaking. But then you'd have one that is like five feet break more than one that, you know, than what we just had. And it didn't move. It's like... You've reached a par three. Let's keep our laser focus. Par three, just 177 yards from the back, but this green is always firm. Be wary of that. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trying to he get on the green rival. already. Let's see what happens here. Oh, this looks pure. Chipped in and made a 29 foot putt for something. Yeah, good mid range putt, this one. Right on 17 feet. This for back to back here. birdies. Ooh. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Ooh, nice line. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And he finds himself in a tie for third. We have a par four on this one. Par four, 384 yards from the back. A long Ooh. snake pushed like like crazy. bunker down the right-hand side to a cool little green with all sorts of movement on it. A very fun hole to play indeed. The good thing Trying is to this get it to move a little bit should to go the all the here. way down. Yep. Well, and then off, I guess. Wild on approach there. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Well, that's an impressive little chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. I want to. I'm going to watch the players strikes. next year, and I'm going to be staring hard at that hole Welcome and see if anybody's ball powerful. does that. Par four, 471 yards from the back. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. I don't think I would have done that. Playing from around 150 yards here. Four shots behind our leader. Pushed it again. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. Man. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Let's return to live play now. Whew. Well, at least they'll get some style points for that one. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. And he needs this to save par. He's currently tied for third. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Par four. 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught out by one. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, that was an awful bounce. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Okay, steady now. Easy par that. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Difficult par four, 451 yards. Water and sand all, right. all the way down the left hand Works. side hit it out to the right find the green with your second and sprint to the next hole making four and this shot here coming up from around Perfect. 130 yards just two shots behind oh, standing ovation after that shot yes gotta think that's a certain birdie from there now let's switch our focus to colin morikawa now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yeah, that mighty shot. I don't know what is he. Worth a move up the leaderboard. Let's I actually, I haven't even checked. The leader now Plus has three, so he's actually better than what he was on the f Lovely after the first round. After that so he is going hole. under. Keep it rolling. 
Par three, 237 yards in length. A break, ah. to say the least. Oh, that was actually it good. We tough pushed it and hit it fast. Bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. Make this putt. You'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. Here's you got me nervous. Line. And this putt coming up for his par. He currently sits in third position. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. Ah. God, and he has run forever. Line. Looks like they have a good lie here in the first cut. It was. Just don't get in that stupid little bunker. Thank you. Actually, it lined up perfect. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, well played. What an eagle. I hate and those tiny bunkers. I always get it on. Awesome play. They could make a bunker the size of a golf ball and I'd probably get it. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. It's called a divot, but whatever. Next up is this two shot hole. Feeling awfully good coming off an eagle at the last. Last time we hit driver and was not good. So. Well struck. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. He's currently tied for the lead. I still don't understand this. It's a two yard difference. They've chosen to club down here. Ah, uh. uh, that's disappointing. This would be Takes a great up and down from this spot. Oh, I thought that one was You know what else in. is disappointing? When that should have stopped 10 feet ago. Let's see if we can make this. Keep the par on the card. Well done. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Oh yeah, we made an eagle. I thought we were still six under. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side. You might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Oh wow, they're thinking of going for this one. Perfect. That sh never mind. I'll say that should stop well, he's going to hit that up slope and we put spin there. on it. But. That's impressive. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. It's probably Short too far if it misses. Been absolutely fantastic today. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. He Can you hear those this. tweets? This is what they have left for birdie here. We already made the And birdie. now we find ourselves with a par four here. Par 4, 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards from the back. You can get it close, you can even make a hole in one, but watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult oh. to two putt from there. For some reason I thought that was gonna run up and then oh, go left. Frustrated by missing a green. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Didn't happen. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Should have just went with the extra save. club. Put a little bit of loft that and spin on it. I tried to deal off it a little Let's bit to, to have it jump ground. forward, but There's something brewing down that didn't there. work. Let's find out what it is. Hey, guys, we are checking in with Tiger Woods oh. as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. 
The guy who won yeah, by 14 the shots yeah. in the last tournament, by the way. And how did that great shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. He did win by, I think, nine one time, lead. but not quite 14. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where oh. that green sits. It sits from right to left with the decent when some of our of fittings are activated straightforward that's when this hole causes players all there's only a two yard problems. difference okay I get you that dog will hunt an opportunity for a booty here not a good one I don't think we hit it okay well, these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet. Oh, that's a clutch par. Leading by a shot after that hole. Gary and Woodland. Par four awaits at this next hole. One of the more simple tee oh. shots on the golf course, par four, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. Pulled it like crazy, but didn't yeah, end up very the mark on too that bad. Shot. Tried to fade it, just didn't make it happen. If he makes this, he'll save his par. And there it is. And after that, they're currently in the lead with Gary Woodland trailing in second. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Fun filled adventure wait. Find the fairway and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do. But watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. This one needs to kick left. <laughs> Playing within their comfort zone there. Just one in the birdie. Over to Colin Morikawa. I don't want to aim it left. His rival. Let's see what happens because here. if you're in that heavy rough, wow, that in the bunker or whatever, hole. it would be insanely hard and to stop. Back to the play, shall we? And he's down there. You got a read? Like barely Straight breaks. Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Pulled oh, it. So close. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. And after that hole, leading Gary Woodland by two strokes. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Par 317th, 137 oh yards. Oh my god, did Island you see green. that? I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? Yes. This is looking pretty good in the air. This time. A man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as Mr. he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Cutting for birdie here. Just didn't drop. Come on. There's that Three tiny bit of ball. Here to the hole. This is what they have left for a par. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Well, here we are. The 18th hole. It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand <laughs> side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side Whatever. of the green. Somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen, 
you'd be happy to make five here. That's for sure. Fours are magnificent. Threes sure are unicorns. They really make don't happen that much. Time. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole. Probably one of the toughest in championship golf. I think that ugly lie really affected them on that shot. Not a surprising result, really. Come the fuck He's on. Sixth shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Love it. This is a triple bogey attempt here. Nice stroke. I, I absolutely <laughs> love it. Have no idea where that drive came from. No idea. Leading by one, going to the 18th hole. So another round in the books and managing Let to maintain guess. their position back by on three. the leaderboard, giving themselves a chance, Rich. Well, back by That's one. That's a good spot to be in. Just kind of hanging around, waiting for their oh time to pounce on the leaders, but in a good position heading into the final 36. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny. I mean, that makes no sense. That drive. I did not swing it that damn fast. Two K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Please, you could join us for this third round. I swung action. that one faster. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity to Actually, I haven't been. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long, and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Currently seven under for the event. Welcome to this par five hole. Driver not necessarily required here because you have to shape your tee shot from right to left. And if you're a right-handed golfer, that's not the easiest thing to do. So lefties have a better opportunity, I think, of finding this fairway than most with driver. From there, a second shot over a long bunker to a green that's very narrow, dotted by pot bunkers. <laughs> Truly is one of the coolest par fives on this layout. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of what? that lie. It looks like they have a good lie here in the sand. And here we are with their four. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Oh, that's frustrating. This I one love for it, man. Bogey. Again, it was the same thing. Uh, up until the 18th hole, I mean, we couldn't really miss a shot. We were doing really, really well. And all of a sudden, again, we just can't hit a shot. The third. The tee is yours. Such a cool little par three. Love this green. There's a low section in the front and a high section in the back. And anytime they put the pin all the way in the back section of the screen, well, I tell you what, good luck on you. If you miss this green long and or left, that bunker sits some five feet below the surface of the green. A chance to save the par if you can make this one. Yeah, we'll take that. Well, fellas, and now we head place to your bets. Will we come back and happened. win it? Or just blow up Second and shot here. not even be in the top ten? And after this hole, that's how it looks. Oh, Canada! Brooke Henderson leads this tournament. Could roll into the rough on this one. Second shot here on the fourth. Slow in the water. Close. This would be a great up and down. You barely hit a pitch slow, and they go 20 Six yards short. It makes no sense. For the par. Same thing they had in 21. I don't know why someone thinks that makes sense. God, talk to us. I understand if it's us? like hey guys, way left or right on the Kawa thing. As he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. And let's see what that's. You just barely hit it slow, and it's Just 20 yards short. Off the lead after that hole. 
wrong. Oh no, everybody bogeyed. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Huge mounding down the left hand side that you want to avoid at all costs. The bunker down the right hand side, to be fair, is not that bad. But a little further right of that though, that's the water. You want no part of it. Second shot is downhill to a green. To be fair, that's mostly flat, runs from back left to front right, but one of the more benign greens on this layout. That made and no. here we are with the third shot. That made no sense. Currently a shot off the lead. Very crafty, that shot. Just eyeballing that so one. So with that iron, it. I and with that hole behind them, hit it fast. In second place, just behind the, the last time. Brooke Henderson. Like, All right. Touch slower. At a par four. Step up to the Super slow. Loaded. I missed the tree. I thought that was a really cool feature of this hole. You had to flight it underneath a tree back in the day to find the fairway. The bunker down the left-hand side has been expanded quite a bit as the lake on the left-hand side has been added as well. The front part of this green is protected by oh, wow. tall Perfect. palm trees. Is it way trees too far? will certainly make you think on your second no. shots. This is a wonderful little par four. Don't know how we did that. The Rich always like going back and looking at T-Dub and some of the <laughs> magnificent stuff he delivers. Rich, I don't know if you know Tiger to, uh, well enough. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. To call him T-Dub. This putt to move into a tie for first. And that makes him tied for first. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This hole here is a par four. Par four, 451 yards, all sorts of danger down the left-hand side. Hit your tee shot out to the right. Second shot, find the green, two putt, and sprint to the tee on the eighth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Why is it so far left? Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Ah, that's short. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop, but that looked good the whole way. Just two shots back after that hole. Oh. Brooke Henderson Eagle. We're at the par three here. I love these holes. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough <sighs> hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're, you're so a well happy with the hybrids and person. then that. Found the green side rough. Oh. Perfect. I was expecting a slow. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Judging it beautifully. And Brooke Henderson currently in the lead here. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. She eagled this hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. It would be. But it wouldn't be today. Okay. One more day. Look at that. Wonderfully played. That was amazing. Putting for an eagle. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Beautiful shot. We're back to where we were when we were on 17. And after that effort, they've now moved into second place, right behind our leader, Brooke Henderson. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Sitting the at point nine under, playing conservative. If you do second that. Second place. <laughs> Going with the hybrid. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. This one's 13 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for par here. Nice little putt to hold that one. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Par five, 558 ah. yards long. Avoid the fairway Finger bunkers slipped. on the left-hand side. And you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, straw. you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will what? call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Go right enough this in the water, to be please. Slightly off line here. Thank you. Sadly, this one will Thank make you. a splash. 
And he's down there. I Amazon tried to hit that fast to make sure I wasn't yards. slow. Got great <laughs> connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Fuck this, this shit and its inconsistencies. Here, their short game today has been absolutely sublime. Oh, of course. To watch. Of fucking course. And it's more great play from Brooke Henderson. She's Another birdie. She eagled, then went birdie, birdie. Let's see what this par four has in store. Par four, 12th. A new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left hand side, but it's a drivable par four. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. Wow, did this come out beautifully? That lie was so bad, I didn't think they'd be able to get it anywhere near there. Short. Ooh, right by the hole. He's currently sitting the in third. The lie was good. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And this is a really cool par three. You've got three distinct areas on the green, front right, all the way on the left-hand side, and the back right. Wherever they put the pin is going to dictate what shot shape you want to have into that green. I think it's a really cool design because it requires you to think about how you want the golf ball to land on the green and the way you want it to bounce. I think Pete Dye did a great job in designing this green. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Such soft hands. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. A long par four this hole. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. That was a gallant attempt. No was, feet. By the way, come. guys, it was straight up the hill. Oh, just missed. Why did that go left? Putting for bogey here. That's well hold. Don't know how that went now, six 12 back feet back by when it was straight up the hill and I well, brought it all the way back to before the hole. hole. Players do hit through a shoot off this tee shot, which makes it a little bit simpler, I believe, for and the And then the players. next putt somehow went left, Walker even though right it was breaking right is no the entire way. Trees blocking you out with your the only shot. spot it was if breaking left, left was right where our ball was. But it didn't go left right where our ball was. It went left midway. This green is no fun. You find the center of the green, and you might be able to putt every single day, but in all reality, you have to find the correct section in order to give yourself the best look at making a putt. That should set up another chance. Outside chance here for the birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And as we move along, it's Brooke Henderson on oh, top. We're gonna of have things. to go birdie, 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 just, just to be a back by play. a lot. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do. But watch out, lots of water awaiting a wayward set. Slow. All right, whatever. Well, they look like they're taking this on in two. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Take a look at this attempt from way out. And back to the course with the live action. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Was it a good line? Didn't really need to Just hit it firm, it seems. Four feet remaining between him and the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to eight under. Gary Woodland currently leads the field. Okay. And now stepping onto this par three hole. 
when you play here in a practice round, it looks like you could just throw it on there. But when you're in a tournament round, it doesn't even look like it exists. It, the hole changes so Whatever. much. I haven't hit a wedge shot at all tournament it. like that. You just add 35,000 people who are having some fun and ready to heckle you if you knock it in the water. Eh, oh, and that one was perfect. Enjoy. Oh, this one could be rinsed. Playing their fourth shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Well, yeah, that was a you strange couldn't one. stop that. Didn't see that happening. Time for the fifth shot. Five shots off the pace. Oh, how about that one? Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video. Time. No, don't. Jesus. Oh, how many of you thought I'd completely bottle it? No. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard. Now a two-stroke lead. Let's hope that double bogey doesn't haunt them on this one. That was tough. Par four, 462 yards, and you're gonna find out what kind of player you are when you tee off here. How brave are you? How much do you trust your swing? If you find the fairway, that's a great start. But the second shot awaits. Well, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Pretty sure you're very wrong with that, about Ooh. that. Just go off the green. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. And that will do it for this player today. And as this round winds down, <sighs> he finishes in a tie for awful. fifth. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Players Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. And Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It sets up for a very exciting final round. Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. All right, we basically need to go at Nicely least done. 10 under. Going for this green in two ridges, it's an exciting least. but daunting task. The green is minuscule from back in the fairway. You know that you have a little bit room over to the left, but you're gonna fall off into a low area. And if you miss it out to the right, you're gonna find a very deep bunker on the right-hand side of the green. There's really no great miss around here, but if you're gonna go for it, you have to know that your short game is gonna bail you out no matter where you miss it. That's a lovely putt to make for Booty. Take some pride in that one. Currently at seven under for the tournament. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. This one is chewing fiber. Yeah, that was great wind management there. And now we head to the 17th. And this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back that's -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Gary Woodland currently on top of the leaderboard here. It's time to begin this par four hole. Just hmm. a small little twisty par four. Just going to take out a fairway wood, find the fairway, and from there you're going to have a small second shot, probably a wedge. Three distinct sections to this green, the front, the right, and the back left, and all of them have their difficulties when hitting your approach shot into them. However, in my mind's eye, if you find the fairway, 
you should have a decent look for birdie. Just, Just a touch outside slow. into the rough. Ten yards short. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Seven feet to the cup. Got to try and save the par here. And down she goes. And Gary Woodland is currently in the lead. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Par four, 471 yards from the back. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. Bridget long talked and about thin. Tiger Woods inspiring a more athletic type of player. Uh, Gary Woodland really typifies that, doesn't he? Uh, and great to I see him okay. achieve his major dream as it well. Sits. Yeah, two-sport athlete back in the day, Luke. Wasn't just a golfer, was a basketball player as well. So... I've always thought that shooting the basketball kind of equates into golf, especially with putting. You know, you've got to have the touch. You've got to have it in your fingers, as I would say, Luke. The great thing that I love about Gary is the fact that he has that athletic ability, and he did, he was known as a long hitter at one point, but now he's kind of tempered everything down. He's learned how to get the most out of his game, okay. and it didn't come through any better than it did a couple years back when he won that major championship. I look at Gary, even though he might be struggling right now, this is temporary. He's going to find a way to get out of this because all great athletes do. And when he comes out of this, he's going to be so much better than what he was going into it. How close was that to going down? Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke advantage. Next up is this par four hole. And as you can see, there's a long fairway bunker down the left-hand side that makes you believe there's more room left than you actually have. It's just not there. Players should be looking a little bit further right. If you find the fairway, your second shot should be straightforward. In fact, Luke, I made a two here one time, so that shows you how simple this hole can be. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, we are checking in here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the fifth. This looks to be hit pretty well from Great where shot. I'm standing. Let's get back to it, shall we? This putt is for a share of second. God. Ouch, that hurts. Well, we're six one. foot away. Probably about I'm six, seven foot. The great I aimed it almost five feet Gary left. Woodland is a top That's insane. Now a two-stroke lead. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, <laughs> to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded oh, by man. bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. It's because, wow, okay. That wasn't that slow, but okay. This part is about 19 feet in distance. That'll help it's because when, when you do all that, you do need to swing it a little bit faster. And but I just Gary got like, carried away like the field ah. as I speak. Now a par five hole awaits. Oh come on. But disappointing that one. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Oh that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Perfect. Oh, wow. Bad bounce. Never mind. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Love watching this player around the greens. Gary Woodland currently leads the field. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Yeah, this is a quality-looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. 
This one from about 160 yards out. Win back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Got to believe the win affected the golf ball there. Didn't that look good for a long time? And he needs this to save par. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke advantage. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side. And you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Well, I think they're attacking this one. They're really going to go for it. It looks like he's thinking about going for the green here. <laughs> From the sand, are they able to get up and down? No. Time now for the fourth shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Because they don't know how shots like this actually work. They'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. This next putt for double bogey. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Gary Woodland is atop the leaderboard, now a two-stroke lead. <laughs> Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par 4 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. That'll sting a bit. It's a lot slower going up the hill than what this player read. And Gary Woodland is currently... You know, I was like, you know, we fell back. We're not going to win because when we were 10 under, Let's see what happens here we needed, guaranteed to so need to make six birdies in the next eight holes. Like, we're not going to win, oh well. 181 yards from the back. You can get and you can even make I was like, all right, but let's try to do watch out our best. The wrong spot on the green. And then some bullshit like that happens. Because this would be a great not in any golf game have they ever gotten those shots correct. Ooh, I yeah. thought that one was going in. Uh, just like that, and you would never be able to stop shot. it. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was spectacular, Luke. Great That's just work. disappointment, Great really. shot. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. And Gary Woodland currently leading the field as I speak. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes I put it left. all kinds of problems. You had two beads going to the left, well, one, one to tiny make. bead going to the right, right at the hole. How did it not well, it was break a wonderful left? Approach shot, wasn't <laughs> it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. I wonder. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots. Or how did the, what are the more simple ball shots just not go left? Course, par four, since yards. I pulled just it. Just a little fade required I don't off know. the tee to the fairway. It's a really, you know, the green it's, sits up I, above I the don't fairway, know. A little bit surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I got to say, I like this hole. It's straightforward. It's simple. Before you head into the final three. Getting ready to play their third. Sure is a conundrum. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? 
Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below perfect. the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. And the putt drops, now at eight under, heading down the stretch. Gary Woodland currently head and shoulders above the rest today. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Ideally, players want to take their tee shots from right to left, start off that fairway bunker and move it left back in the fairway. Anything down the left-hand side can get caught up into those trees and really cause players issues with their layup. You find the fairway, now you have a massive decision to make. Go for it or bail out to the left thinking that's the safe play. It really is not. You have to be brave and try and find this green with your second shot. If not, it could come up and bite you. Okay, let's get back right to it, shall we? That's where it bit me. Yeah, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Short. Yeah, sure, sure. Good look at birdie here. Just didn't drop. That's not your best effort on the greens. What a dominating performance by Gary Woodland. Yeah, He's ten shots away from third. Just a couple so realistic. To go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Par 3, 17th, 137 yards, Island Green. I've actually seen a caddy throw it onto this green, but with a golf club in your hand, can you hit the green? A chance for a birdie if this goes down. All right, you'll make it the next time. This took place just a short time ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Gary Woodland currently head and shoulders above the rest today. And now teeing off on the final hole of this round. It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side of the green somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen, you'd be happy to make five here, that's for sure. Fours are magnificent, threes, are unicorns. They really don't happen that much. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole. Probably one of the toughest in championship golf. And that'll wrap things up for him here at this tournament. Nothing on the back nine except for a double. That's amazing. <sighs> Just awful. And Henny, no win for this player in the tournament proper. But they did set the goal of taking down Colin Morikawa, and they accomplished it. Luke, it was an incredibly bold call from this player to challenge Colin Morikawa and beat him. They'll be buzzing with excitement and that much more determined to excel in their next event for sure. On behalf of Ridge Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Look at those doubles. Take those doubles away. And we're minus 14. Hmm. Got the TP putter. No, I don't want the tattoo. The Zuno ball. Might as well. Bridgestone clubs. Might as well. You're about to end. Well, we're maxed out with Cobra. So. What can we get with Mizuno? I like that putter. We need a hybrid. There's one.
our next rival, Lydia Ko. She's ninth in the FedEx Cup. She's 25, turned pro nine years ago. Jesus. Wedges and shoes. Alright guys, that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, again, didn't play well, but what can you do? Bye.